Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x800 F0801 error code in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on System and then on the right side scroll down until you find Troubleshoot section and select it. Now just click on other troubleshooters and afterwards just locate the Windows Update troubleshooter and click on the run button next to it. Just wait for the troubleshooter to diagnose the issue and then choose the appropriate response when prompted to fix them. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also run the SFC and DISM scans. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window just type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and then restart your PC. Afterwards just check if the problem still persists. You can also update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane just scroll down until you find the Windows update section and select it. Then on the right side just click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will now scan for any available newer versions of Windows 11. After updating just restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. You can also enable the .NET Framework 3.5. To do this press the Windows button then simply type turn Windows features on or off and select it from the search result. Now in the Windows feature window just tick the checkbox for .NET Framework 3.5 and then click on OK to save the changes. If required, just follow the on-screen instructions to download the relevant files and then restart the computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to clear the software distribution folder. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type or copy-paste the following commands from the description below one by one and then press enter after each command. Now restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.